Now, Lake TV News, stories, events, activities, and entertainment information of interest in and around Lake of the Ozarks. I'm Ashley Kyle. And I'm Bob Spicer. And this is your Lake News Update, brought to you by Lake TV and LakeExpo.com, and sponsored by Lloyd Bell Automotive. Two cross-continental bicycle races are rolling through the lake area this week. The lead bicyclist in Race Across America came through the Camdenton Time Station on Sunday. Most riders are expected to come through the lake area in the middle of the week on their 3,000-mile journey from Oceanside, California to Annapolis, Maryland. At the same time, endurance athletes with Race Across America made their trek east on Highway 54. Another group of bicyclists headed north on Highway 5 crossed their paths Sunday at the Camdenton Square. The bicyclists heading north are fighting cancer one mile at a time in the Texas 4000. They began their ride in Austin, Texas, covering 4,000 miles through the United States and Canada before reaching their destination in Anchorage, Alaska. Local and state law enforcement officials are asking motorists to share the road. If you see these super athletes out there, cheer them on. One of the fastest growing events at the lake lived up to its name Friday night, Hot Summer Nights, brought hot rods, antique cars, custom motorcycles, and a huge crowd to the Bagnell Dam Strip. The event held the first Friday of the month offers camaraderie among classic car owners and wholesome fun for families. There's always plenty of activities for the kids, too. Hot Summer Nights has proven a boon for local businesses on the Strip during a time of revitalization. The Osage River Pow Wow brought a true cultural experience to the Miller County Fairgrounds over the weekend. Seeped in local Native American tradition, the event offered attendees a look at the lives of the first inhabitants of Lake of the Ozarks, the Osage Indians. The celebration of heritage featured dancing, Native American crafts, food, and fun for the whole family. The Osage River Pow Wow is held annually at the fairgrounds. Mariner Pier 31 in Camdenton honored military service members this Saturday with Troop Appreciation Day. The day was packed with free activities including a boat outing, fishing tournament, and gifts for members of the military and their families. And Lake TV was there. And we do it on Father's Day weekend with the thought that if the troop or the hero is leaving, what a great memory he's going to have being with his family right before he's deployed or right when he comes home either way. So in what, what it's really all about is about uh, letting the people know, letting the kids know that their mom and their dad is a real hero. It lets uh, the militants know, the armed service members know that the public itself really cares for all the service members and really takes care of them. Some residents of Horseshoe Bend shouldn't pay their bills or at least not their ambulance bills. That's the official word from the Four Seasons Village Board on an issue that has frustrated some residents for years. According to Village Clerk Thomas Baird, the Lake Ozark Fire Protection District will likely continue billing residents of Horseshoe Bend who use ambulance service. But if those residents have paid their personal property taxes, they will actually owe the district nothing. A judge's decision could make it easier for some lakefront property owners to be awarded the title to land that for now technically belongs to Ameren. Circuit Court Judge Kenneth Hayden made the ruling and he said the property owner's lawsuits claiming adverse possession could proceed to trial in spite of Ameren's request for dismissal. Ameren claims that a 2006 Missouri law exempts the utilities company from adverse possession claims. Ameren has made it clear that it has no intention of tearing down the structures built on the disputed property, but property owners say when it comes time to sell, those promises do not replace a clear title. Ameren has also argued that the title companies are to blame in this mess and property owners should take the issue up with them instead of filing suit against Ameren. Well, no one can accuse the Sunrise Beach Police of slacking in their duties. The department issued 100 traffic tickets in May. That's nearly double the average in recent months. There were 58 tickets in April, 54 in March, and 45 in February. And as you might expect, the majority of the 100 tickets last month were for speeding. So keep a close eye on your speedometer as you cruise around the lake this summer and drive safely out there. Lorry voters said no to a use tax early this month, but Mayor Herb Keck says the city will probably ask them again. The issue was defeated in the June 4th special election by a 38 to 35 vote. In April, it tied with 92 votes for and 92 against. The use tax was first brought up last summer and voters defeated it then with a vote of 140 to 98. 
None of the municipalities around the lake managed to pass a use tax this spring, but both Camden and Morgan counties did receive voter approval on similar issues. Time will only tell if voters in Lurie or anywhere else will have to vote on the issue again. Ever seen one of these stuck to your boat? They're called zebra mussels, and marine biologists say they are an unwelcome sight in the Lake of the Ozarks. Native to the Caspian Sea, they made their way to the American waters in the ballast tanks of freight ships, and they can have a serious impact on boats, docks, and water intake systems. Zebra mussels can also change the habitat of the lake by eating algae, forcing native species to adapt. No quick fix has emerged among scientists or conservationists, but one thing is sure, this is a group of immigrants that everyone agrees will not be receiving amnesty. The Missouri Department of Natural Resources closed the public swimming beach at Truman Lake State Park last week after E. coli levels tested above levels the department says are safe. Lake of the Ozark beaches are open and, like all public beaches, are subject to weekly water testing. State Representative Rocky Miller introduced a bill to the Missouri House this spring that would prevent the DNR from closing beaches due to high levels of bacteria in a single sample. No action has been taken on the bill since a public hearing was held back in February. After this brief message from Lloyd Bell Automotive, we'll be back to fill you in on Lake Events this week. Stick with us. Lloyd Bell Automotive in downtown Eldon has a large selection of pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs with mileage starting as low as 4,700 miles. Stop in today and see why you're always a good deal better at Lloyd Bell in downtown Eldon. Here's a look at upcoming events around the lake. The Lake Area Chamber of Commerce will hold a networking social Tuesday evening at Pain Relief Associates in Osage Beach. The Chamber invites members and guests to come enjoy food and drinks from 5 to 7 p.m. and take advantage of the networking opportunity. Also Tuesday evening at 7 p.m., the Lake Area Community Orchestra performs at the West Lake Christian Church in Lorry as part of its June concert series. The series will conclude this week again on Tuesday at 7 at Christ the King Lutheran Church in Lake Ozark. On Friday morning, the Camden County Museum will host a ladies' luncheon and fashion show with a beach party theme from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. There will be a silent auction as well as drawing for prizes. Admission is $10 per person. The Osage Beach Farmers Market will open all day Saturday at Stonecrest Mall. Adhering to a pure food pledge, farmers have made strides to bring food closer to locals and vacationers at Lake of the Ozarks. So come enjoy the community experience. Also Saturday afternoon, the biggest party of the weekend is coming to Coconuts. It's the third annual Boat Jams party and it's guaranteed to be a hot one with live music by the Boons and the famous Boat Jams DJ. Everything will go down poolside with easy access to the Swim Up Tiki bars. Boat Jams will give away all kinds of cool stuff all day long. Don't miss the action at Coconuts Caribbean Beach Bar and Grill this Saturday. Saturday evening, Jim Stafford comes to Main Street Music Hall with his famous style of witty storytelling and amazing guitar playing, and that show starts at 8 p.m. And if that's not enough entertainment for you, here's a lineup of bands playing at local restaurants and bars this weekend. Hey! Kyle. I'm Bob Spicer. And this has been your Lake News Update brought to you by Lake TV, LakeExpo.com and sponsored by Lloyd Bell Automotive.
Lloyd Bell Automotive in downtown Eldon has a large selection of pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs, with mileage starting as low as 4,700 miles. Stop in today and see why you're always a good deal better at Lloyd Bell in downtown Eldon.